dear students now we are going to solve important problems in carrier to noise ratio in satellite communication the first problem in a link budget calculation at 12 gigahertz the free space loss is 206 db the antenna pointing loss is 1 db and the atmospheric absorption is 2 db the receiver g by t ratio is 19.5 db per k and the receiver feeder loss is 1 db the eirp value is 48 db watt calculate the carrier to noise ratio spectral density so here all the losses are given g by t ratio is given and also the eirp value given so we are going to find out the carrier to noise ratio okay so here in the solution part first we have to write the given data so what all are the data given in the problem free space loss that is 206 db antenna pointing loss that is antenna misalignment loss 1 db atmospheric absorption is 2 db the receiver feeder loss is 1 db the eirp that is equivalent isotropic radiated power is 48 db watt g by t ratio is 19.5 db per k okay so next the c by n formula is eirp plus g by t minus losses minus k here eirp value is given g by t value is given the overall losses can be obtained by adding all the given losses together okay here the k value is the constant that is boltzmann constant so in decibels we can write the boltzmann constant as minus 228.6 db here the overall losses can be obtained by adding all the losses together so this is the overall loss formula in this one this pl is nothing but polarization loss in this problem this polarization loss may be neglected so fsl is 206 rfl is 1 aml is 2 and aa is 1 okay then we can get the overall loss is 210 db in the next step we have to substitute the values of eirp that value is what 40a plus g by t value is 19.5 here the overall loss is 210 k value is minus of minus 228.6 okay after substituting the values of eirp losses g by t and k we can get the answer as c by n is equal to 86.1 db so this is the carrier to noise spectral density for the given values okay so the next problem this problem is very important one For a satellite circuit, the individual link carrier to noise spectral density ratios are uplink 100 dB Hz and downlink 87 dB Hz. Calculate the combined C by N ratio in dB. So in this problem, uplink ratio and downlink ratios are given. Okay, so we are going to find out the combined C by N ratio by adding these two values. but here we should not add these two ratios in decibels as such okay so first we have to write the given data c by n for uplink is 100 db hertz c by n for downlink is 87 db hertz these two values are given we are going to find out the overall c by n okay we have to get the normal c by n ratio without decibel okay so here the decibel formula is what 10 log c by n that is the formula for getting the decibel value so here 10 log c by n uplink is equal to the value is 100 okay so from this we can get the normal value of this ratio without decibel okay so we have to move this 10 to this side then we can get log c by n is equal to 10 then this log can be removed by using this C by n is equal to 10 power 10. So.
So if you want to change the decibel into the normal value, we have to take the value 10 power the given decibel divided by 10. Simple, okay. So but here it is convenient to process the ratio in noise to carrier. So we are going to inverse this ratio. Then we can get n by c is equal to 10 power minus 10. Similarly, we can get the value for downlink. So here 10 log c by n for downlink is equal to 87 dB hertz. Then we can move this 10 to this side. We can get 8.7. Then we can remove this log by taking the 10 power value here. So c by n for downlink is equal to 10 to the power 8.7. So again we are going to inverse this ratio for our convenience. So here n naught by c is equal to 10 to the power minus 8.7. Then only we are going to add these two ratios. So next we are going to find out the combined c by n ratio by adding these two ratios and then reverse back the process. Okay. So here n by c is equal to 10 to the power minus 10 plus 10 to the power minus 8.7. You will understand this one. Next 10 to the power minus 10 is 1 to the power minus 10 plus 10 to the power minus 8.7 is 1.995 into 10 to the power minus 0 0.9. So we can simply add these two values to get the combined n by c ratio as 2.095 in 10 to the power minus 9. So we want to get carrier to noise power. So for that we can take the inverse operation. So 1 by 2.095 into 10 to the power minus 9. So here we can write that is the inverse value. The whole power minus 1. So next we are going to convert this into db hertz okay so for that we can multiply this value with 10 log okay so then we can move this minus 1 to this side so minus 10 log of 2.095 into 10 to the power minus 9 okay then we can get the answer as 86.79 db hertz do you all understand this one so they have given us the c by n ratio for uplink and downlink directly. But we should not add these two values as such. Okay, so we have to convert this ratio as a normal one without dB. And we have to inverse this one because this C by N value is in 10 to the power plus. So here it is more difficult to deal with the very high values. So here we have to change this c by n into n by c. So this value is 10 to the power minus. So it is very convenient for us to calculate the values. Do you all understand this concept? So similarly, we can solve the next problem. For a satellite, the carrier to noise ratios are uplink 23 dB, downlink 20 dB and intermodulation 24 dB. Calculate the overall C by N in decibels and also suggest a method to reduce the intermediate noise. Okay. So in this problem first we have to write the given data as such C by N for uplink is 23 dB. C by N downlink is 20 dB and here the intermediate noise is 24 dB. The same procedure has to be followed over here that is we have to convert this into the normal C by N ratio and then take the inverse of this. Okay. Here we can take the uplink carrier to noise ratio 10 log C by N U is equal to 23. Then we can get C by N is equal to 10 to the power 2.3. So we have to take the inverse value. So N by C for uplink is equal to 10 to the power minus 2.3. Similarly, for downlink, we can get n by c is equal to 10 to the power minus 2. Okay. The same way, we can get n by c for intermediate noise signal as 10 to the power minus 2.4. Okay. Then, we have to add all these values to
to get the overall n by c okay that is noise to carrier power so the overall noise to carrier power is equal to the sum of uplink downlink and intermediate noise okay so here 10 to the power minus 2.3 plus 10 to the power minus 2 plus 10 to the power minus 2.4 then we can get the overall noise to carrier power is equal to 0 0.0019 then we have to get the carrier to noise power by taking the inverse operation so here we can say c by n naught for overall value is equal to the total value is equal to 0 0.0019 the whole power minus 1 so then we have to take the value in terms of db so for that we can take 10 log of the given value we have to move this power minus to this side okay so minus 10 log of 0.0019 that value is 17.2 db hertz this is the overall carrier to noise spectral density for the given values okay so next we are going to suggest a method to reduce the intermediate noise so in order to reduce the intermediate noise the traveling wave tube amplifier that is TWTA amplifier must be operated in back of condition in the receiver side so it is very important condition to reduce the intermediate noise in satellite receiver link okay